What's up guys? Welcome back to Boost Brothers Garage. In this episode, as is tradition, we have good news and we have bad news. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? Welcome to Boost Brothers Garage. Look, he's got it down pat. To start off with the bad news, we're gonna look at the Cayman, which is what I was supposed to be filming for this video. When I say Cayman, I guess I actually mean Cayman engine. I was starting to assemble the uh, uh, crank block, if you will. The crank sits in here, and then uh, obviously the rods attach, and it drops down into the case half. However, when I did, I grabbed my new main bearings, and I went to drop those in, and, well, they don't fit. <laughs> I ordered the wrong bearings. I ordered the bearings for a 2001 Carrera 4 instead of a 2002 Carrera 4S. So it's the difference between a 3.2 and a 3.4. So I know my problem, uh, but unfortunately I have to wait on parts. So, sorry Cayman guys. I know I've been promising a video, uh, but we're in a holding pattern until those main bearings come in. The good news is we got the 07K swap 944 back on the dyno and we didn't have any belt problems. Uh, we actually threw it on a dyno jet this time. Uh, David from Performance Electronics did a little tuning and we made 192 wheel horsepower. I don't remember what torque we made. Uh, I'll throw in the videos of the runs and then uh, a screenshot of the dyno graph now. Ninety-two horsepower is basically a stock 944 turbo with exhaust and I think possibly wastegate shims is what my buddy Dan said his made. We do not have the new tensioner pulley on the car yet. It is currently being machined. Actually, I think it just shipped out, but we had a window to get the car on the dyno to test it. So we just tested it with the TTRS crank pulley and that uh, viscous harmonic balancer seems to have made a big difference. We revved it all the way to 7200 until we started to see peak power drop off just a little bit. Came off the gas real quick, just like we would on track, and we didn't have a belt get thrown at all. That's the update on the 07K car. We uh, are obviously gonna be jumping back onto Allen's turbo build, but let me just show you what kind of a wreck my shop is right now. Basically, my life is a wreck right now. We got wide body 944 parts. We got turbo Cayman parts. We got turbo 944 07K parts. Turbo Cayman parts. My wide body car with uh, my son's, I like to call it baby jail. Tried to bring him to the shop and throw him in here. Let him read some books and such. My 914, one of these days we'll work on that. Under here is Thomas's 914 with a six cylinder swap. The Cayman back there. And then something that hasn't been uncovered for what seems like a year is Thomas's 911. This thing is getting a major, major over overhaul right now. All new bodywork. It's getting a turbo 3.8, same as the Cayman. Yeah. So that's gonna be interesting considering it weighs like at least 500 pounds less. 22, 23. 22, 23, wet, that's ridiculous. Thomas had all the cage work done. I don't know how well you can see in there, but it is a work of art. And if I haven't already showed you, his ridiculous forge lines. What are the specs on the forge lines? Oh yeah, so the uh, the forge lines are uh, they're a 13 inch wide rear wheel and a 10 inch wide front wheel, 275 tire in the front, 325 tire in the rear. Uh, they're 17, uh, oh I'm sorry, 18 inch. Um, I forgot that uh, I used to have 17s, now these ones are 18s. So they're pretty beefy. They are, they're wide. I love how, uh, how much meat I can get under the rear of the car now, so. You said meat. That's it folks. See you next time.